the best bikinis in town. What do you think they mean? Panini. They mean panini with bikini? I'm gonna have to look that up. That seems crazy to me. So the down arrow actually means straight ahead, not downstairs. It just means go straight. It's been throwing me off in this airport. It's crazy. Bad gazpacho, some olives, some meat, cheese, and minimal for breakfast. Now the arrows are back to normal. When they point up, it means straight ahead. Yeah, Not like in Spain. Yeah, we're back in normal arrow land. And we're about to head out of the airport here in Turkey. First time in Turkey, super excited. Welcome to Istanbul. Alright. I love it already. The energy is uh, definitely a little bit more upbeat and exciting. And a little bit more chaotic. But this is great. The first thing we see. It looks amazing. Cake, cake. Do you want it? Cool. This is nice. I love street view. This is our room in Istanbul, Turkey. And we got this off what, booking.com? Booking.com, 50 bucks. 50 bucks. And it's near everything. You just listened to the guy at the farm just listed a bunch of things that we can do first thing in the morning. So we're gonna check in, go explore a little bit, Let's see what's up. So we actually don't have any plans right now. We're just gonna walk around. We wanted to go to the bazaar, but it shuts down at seven. So we just get to hit the streets, and see what we can get into. I'm probably in like some super touristy part, but it's, I really like it. Here. I like the whole vibe. I feel like these Turkish delights are like the I love New York t-shirts. They're everywhere, they're like souvenirs. I don't know, first impressions, it's interesting. In almost every window. On the one street we've been to. <laughs> on the one street we've been to. <laughs> it's only one street. Maybe this is the Turkish Delight Street. Who knows?
That's so fire. No, look at the name. It's like a little boardwalk. You wanna go down the slot? Oh, let me do the monkey bars. Here, get me doing the monkey bars. Okay. It's, it's on. Oh. You have to put your hand on the next one. Huh? You gotta swing like a monkey. It's like a knockoff of, uh, well, the Washington Monument's a knockoff of this, but that's a knockoff of Egyptian obelisks. And this is a World Heritage Site. The Egyptians, the hieroglyphics. to the fountain? I want to go up to it, not into the So we walked in, there's absolutely no line. It's about, what time is it? It's 8.30 on a Tuesday, I don't even know what date is. 8.30 on a Tuesday, no line. Things open 24 seven, so why wait in line for an hour, two hours to get in? That makes no sense, just come later on in the day. Okay. Left for 
Yeah. We want a table for two. Yes, please. Uh, maybe uh, that one at the corner or the other one. So we're at a terrace overlooking some views of the city, and we're having Turkish tea with some baklava. So, uh, with some Turkish delight. This one is actually baklava covered in chocolate. This one's pomegranate. This one's rose. This is chocolate and nut. This is pistachio and cream, and this one is pistachio and nut. Okay, this is so sweet and chewy. And it has um, nuts and like almost a fruity flavor to it. It's really unique. <laughs> Why are those kids barefoot? I don't get it. They got nice clothes on, but no shoes. Did they forget them at the mosque? Yeah. Bonsoir, hello. Have a good night. Bye bye, have a night. The place was amazing. There's so many of them, it's hard to know which is a good one, but we just kind of go by the rule of social proof. So if it uh, <clears throat> looked busy, looked local, we went for it. The spot's been there since 1871, which is nothing compared to the stuff around, but um, it was awesome. Really enjoyed it. <laughs> That's got to be her favorite flavor. She crushes an energy drink every day. Hilarious. Thank you. All right, scratch that. That Red Bull is not our favorite flavor. It's got to be the Italian caramel, which is blue. So blue caramel has got to be an all-time amazing. Try it. So I got Italian caramel, and this is the blue one. It's blue caramel. I've never had blue caramel before. And it is the best caramel. It's so rich in flavor. It's like not a hint of caramel. It's like super strong caramel. And then Lotus we got because it was most popular. It was most scooped out. So. It's not a flower. It tastes like a gingerbread man. <laughs> <laughs> I remember these from when we were in Thailand, I think. But I'm gonna try the Turkish brand of it and see how it goes. Cause they're 10 cents a pot. Okay, we found our favorite aisle, the weird chip section. Turka. What is it? Turkish Doritos. Okay, Turka. get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good. Yo, risky Doritos, watch out, they hot. Because it's roulette. One of them is really bad. Is that how it works? <laughs> yeah, look. It's Dorito roulette? It's a risk. So one of them is really bad. It's like Russian roulette. Someone's gonna get a bullet. <laughs> Dorito roulette. That's amazing. Yeah. That pepperoni pizza didn't look like pepperoni and it had corn on it. Miriam just got us kicked out because of eating ice cream. What? 
What? Gong. Gong what? It's just near that. Miriam Hotel. It's so wrong. This is Wednesday morning in Istanbul. We headed over to the Grand Bazaar. And that's why the pecking order goes seagulls are on the top and then pigeons. That seagull's huge. I wonder why it looks like he could eat a pigeon. I know, I didn't believe that. Like, it's like everyone's like, doing what they're doing. 